Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the 2023 760i X-Drive in Brooklyn Gray. It's the G70 chassis. And this is the second video I've shot with this one because when I filmed it first it was crazy gusty winds which ruined the audio. And also knocked out power to most of the Bay Area. Well, maybe not most, but lost power at the dealership. Lost power all around Mountain View. But So this is take two of the flagship 7 series for BMW. So the brand new G70 chassis, redesigned 7 series. It's bigger, it's more luxurious. It's just really a crazy build. So we got the split headlight design. You can see we already have some casualties from the 7 series um, availability of options. So the exact package is gone, which means no crystal headlights here. And every 7 series gas powered one are M Sport by default. So to get the blacked out grill like we have here, it's the M Sport professional packages added to it. You can see in the center of the grill, those are your sensors right there. There's a little rectangle right here. Which includes everything for the driving assistance professional package and everything related to any sensors in driving. It's all there. All right, so let's move over to the side. So we got sort of like the default wheel, almost the style 908M wheels by color. They are 21 inch wheels. And the N Sport Pro package also gets you the calipers in black. I'll take a giant step back to fit in the dynamic 7 series. So it's 212.5 inches long, which I believe is about 5 inches longer than the previous generation F11 chassis. But Brooklyn Gray, obviously, across the lineup, except for the 5 series, I imagine for the G65 series, Brooklyn Gray will appear there making it uh, available on every single BMW. So you got your X-Drive badging, and then your 760i badging. That new sort of font thing, so the bigger 7 rather than the 60 is much smaller. So pretty decent looking back end. You got sort of like a faux quad exhaust going on here as well. Uh, tow hook cover is missing, was not in the car, so I don't know where it went in terms of when it was done for PDI. Then we got the high gloss black lip spoiler as well on the trunk, or gurney flap. Alright, make our way around the side without a lot of sunlight on it. It's uh, basically mostly cloudy here in Mountain View right now. Not as windy, thankfully. A very sort of monolithic design to the side. I think very Rolls Royce-y. I think what could be done better, you can see the, you know, door handles, why don't even call them that, basically in black. I wonder if this was made body color. It might make it look a little bit better. It seems sort of out of place. It makes those handles or door, ah, can't really call them door handles, but door handle-ish type things stand out a little bit too much on the car. All right, so let's take a look at the inside where it is fantastic. So the other casualty is no more automatic doors. So you can see there's no sensors on the bottom there. There's no button to push to open it. So basically you have to reach in, grab that little handle in there to open up. So we are greeted with the full Amarone interior. It's a very burgundy-ish type interior, which goes well against the Brooklyn Gray. But with full leather, you also get another accent color, and that's going to be Atlas Gray. So we'll start with the door. You can see Atlas Gray on the top up here. And your Amarone full leather. Contrast stitching, quilting on the door. Got crystal controls for the seat controls. Now again, this is just the basic seat controls. You have to press the button here to bring up the menu for the seat controls in the iDrive cluster to make 
further adjustments, including massaging seats as well. For like that information bar, light up bar there, that's basically similar to what you find on a MacBook Pro. So gone are the controls on the lower portion of the seat where most BMW owners will be used to it. So you have to make the adjustment in muscle memory to go to the door rather than on the side of the seat. All right, so inside we've got our iDrive 8 instrument panel in front of us. Again, this is technically two screens made to look like one screen altogether. The rest of your iDrive 8 and then the trim is the carbon fiber with silver lining, I think it is. So it looks really cool, I think. And your information bar there, right now in blue, but can be changed in your ambient lighting or based upon the driving mode. So if I go to My Modes to access driving experience, you can switch to Sport Mode. We see that changes, so it's lit up in the M colors as well. All at the press of a button. But a fantastic looking interior. It's got your Atlas Gray steering wheel as well, so this is only available on the full of it. Otherwise, your steering wheel will be the traditional black. Also, the headliner, Alcantara, sort of matched to look like Atlas Gray. I think a pretty good match. Maybe a bit off, but maybe that's more about the texture of Alcantara. The integrated iDrive screens there. I think if you're into the sort of integration, I think this is done much better than on other iDrive 8 vehicles where this thing, I think the criticism is that it sort of looks like tacked on. But I think this looks really good in the 7 series. You get your heads up display as well. Again, steering wheels, the M Sport steering wheel looks really, really good. So I imagine this is probably going to be the next generation M steering wheel. Be interesting to see how it shows up on, say, like things like the M5. Got your shift pedals and then your boost function here as well. So 10 seconds of extra boost. You got your cup holders here. So you can actually close these by pushing in and it automatically closes. So nice touches crystal controls here on the gear selector nub as well as the iDrive controller. Now iDrive controller I think feels a lot different than previous versions of the iDrive controller. I think it takes a little bit of time to get used to. Other thing is the volume control down here basically a, basically a slider wheel that you can find on like the iX and also the X1 and all these buttons are little all these buttons are I forget Captive might be the right word. I can't remember exactly. Basically, all these are not really the buttons that you're used to. There is no parking gear button in here or selector. You will have to put the parking brake on in order to engage the parking gear. All right, so starting price of the 760i xDrive, $113,600. The metallic paint and full leather are included. Now, the full leather is technically, I think, part of the individual composition. So it's not really free. So the Driving Assistance Pro, which includes the Highway Assistant, $2,100. 5450 for the individual composition. And you've got 950 bucks for the M-Sport Professional Package, another 900 for the Parking Assistance Package. And all these other things are included, including things like um, remote engine start, heated steering wheel, thankfully. Not a separate option like on the 5 Series. Glass controls, travel and comfort system, which is in the back seat, and I'll show you that momentarily. Plus the radiant heat package. We got a thousand bucks for the massaging seats. Another forty-seven fifty for the theater screen. Forty-eight hundred dollars for the basically the four D Bowers and Wilkins upgraded sound system. Now the seven series comes standard with a base Bowers and Wilkins sound system. This is the upgraded version. And then we've got wheel locks and the luggage compartment mat added to the car. So all told, MSRP of one hundred thirty-six thousand two hundred and ten dollars. Take a little closer look at them when we get into the back seat. But if you want to control things from the front and don't let your rear passengers, be they children or acting like children, 
You can lock out the controls here for the window as well as other controls. Now, if you want to lock out the controls on the door, the screen there that passengers have access to, what you want to do is you want to go into system settings and rear settings, and you can basically lock out the operation via the touch command for the screens on the doors. That way they won't be able to change things like, I think you can do climate, but basically anything else like changing my modes, drop in the theater screen, all those things that might annoy you as a driver. It gives you lots of control. All right, take it, I'll give you guys a quick little look, slow look at the interior of the brand new 7 Series, which looks really fantastic, really a step up in terms of luxury. Now, because we don't have automatic doors, sort of use that button right here to pop the door automatically. Obviously not there. So you have to go down here. So here's your full amarone leather in the back seat. You can see contrasting seat belts in basically what looks like Atlas gray. All right, so in the back, you've got your plush carpets. So if you want to be stuck at Nakatomi Plaza, you can take off your shoes here. Just don't lose them and basically curl up your toes like a certain New York police officer stuck at Nakatomi Plaza. The new 7 Series has this nice lush carpet, at least in this setup here. So travel and comfort system is right there. So allows you an iPad holder or a coat hanger as well. You can do those controls here. Let me just do this real quick. So I am going to turn those controls off. All right, so those are all off right now. So a lot of things are... Can I change display? Can I get that down? All right, so I can see rear seat operation deactivated by the driver. So can you do the blinds as well? So you can still do the blinds. Now I'll show you the other sort of counterintuitive thing if you're used to BMWs. Because this shade folds basically from the driver's position back rather than the other way around. All right, so it's closed right now. So the controls, you want to think, Normally, pushing back would be open, but because of the way this thing folds in, rather than folding back towards the rear, you have to push this forward to open up the shade there for the LED Sky Lounge, which is a little bit counterintuitive if you're used to BMWs and the operation of the moonroof shade and even the moonroof as well. So it looks like it doesn't lock out everything. So anything entertainment related, and even telephone is disabled when you lock them out. But the, the rear passengers do have some control obviously over the blinds. And you can't fold down the theater screen either. You can change the light back here, especially the ambient lighting in the back and reading lights. And because sport mode is selected, that's locked out as well. This doesn't fully lock out this control system back here as well, but stops them from changing the stations and other things that the driver might find a little bit on the annoying side. But very luxurious in the back seat. Plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room, and of course, plenty of head room. And you got this beautiful sky lounge, which obviously do the filming in the daytime isn't lit up right now or in the dark. All right, so opening up the door, best thing you gotta do is down here. This. All right, we'll make our way to the trunk as well. And use our kick to open. All 
You got your ginormous trunk with the luggage mat here. There's no extra storage underneath it. And over to the left, you have basically what it's called is the first aid kit. If you did option that as a port and salt accessory, that's where it goes. But otherwise, you get your mobility kit as well as your tow hook there. So put it back in and then twist to lock. And do our kick to close as well. All right, we'll make our way to the front here. I'm going to pop the hood as well. So pop it. It's down here. There's no button. It's a latch, or it used to be a latch over here for most BMWs. It's now up here. Pull and pull again. All right, we're going to pop the hood now. And take a look at the glorious S68. So it's a revived V8. So it's 4.4 liter in displacement, twin turbo engine, 536 horsepower, and 553 torques. So pretty powerful engine. Excited to see what it looks like or what power numbers come out of it in the G60, exactly G90 M5. All right. Take a step back. We'll walk around Brooklyn Gray one more time. I'm just taking how big this car is. So we've had plenty of i7 pre-orders cancel because the car will not fit in their garage, which can be problematic. Especially if an older house, say like in Menlo Park over here or Los Gatos. Those houses were built quite some time ago and garages are quite small but that's it for a quick tour around the 760i x drive with some features no longer available on the car see you at the next video